Hi y'all, it's your girl Bad Luck Kitty or you can call me Hello, I'm Bad Luck Kitty and welcome back to Hi y'all, it's your girl Bad Luck Kitty or you can call me Kitty. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm just doing like a few little things just around the house, okay? One of the things I want to share is what I got from Amazon. So I um, have been here now 60 days, 60 days I've been here. And um, one of the things I have not done is weather strip my doors, okay? So I ordered weather stripping from Amazon, came in this little pack and it comes on a roll like this, okay? and I'm going to install it on my doors. I have been real ghetto. Oh, I ordered weather stripping, but white came, not black. And I just feel like the white, just based on like the interior of the house, I feel like black is a better match for color. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is the um, white, I feel like will get dirty because a lot of dust comes under the doors here because the, the clearance on the door is like, like this thick, it's ridiculous. So I have towels under the door right now. So I'm gonna show y'all the installation process and I'm gonna tag this in the comment section below. It's from Amazon Mexico. It was like $10. You can get this. You can get this in the store. My hair look crazy. Don't worry about that. You can get this in the store at Home Depot. Um, I don't know, probably Boxito. I don't know, you can probably get this all over the place. But I was lazy and I was like, I just need to go ahead and do it. When I ordered it and I got the white, I was like, eh, you know, I'll just go in the store and pick up some more. A lot of text at the time and that was a lie because I didn't do it and I let it go on too long. And it's kind of ghetto having towels under my door. So I'm gonna apply this weather stripping with y'all today. So let's get started. So let's call a spade a spade. I got distracted. Y'all, I got distracted. I came over here to get a microfiber towel <clears throat> and some alcohol to prep the space and then i start washing dishes so <laughs> it is what it is it is it is it is what it is like it's no shame in my game i i get distracted so easily doing stuff like it's i still gotta put laundry up on the couch it's i don't know i don't know you know it's this is how it goes, you know, when, you, when you're doing stuff. This is why I say I can't do the good day in the life videos because my routine just be all over the place. It get done. It just might not get done the way everybody think it's supposed to get done, but it get done. That's, that's, that's just how it is. Okay, so as you can see, there's a big gap. Like, that's all outside right there. Yeah, that's the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like sweep this space off and try and get rid of any dust. Because what I had under there is a is a towel. So I've been putting this towel up to the door um, to keep, you know, any unwanted guests out. But, you know, that's kind of ghetto. So we gonna fix that right now. Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do Okay, so according to YouTube My YouTube research I should be able to just put this on here. But something tells me I need to clean it first. Like nobody ever, nobody in any of the videos said to clean it. But I just feel like you need to clean it to give it something to adhere to. Like that makes more sense to me, especially considering the amount of space this is and airflow. And so I'm gonna clean it. So I'm just use a microfiber towel and alcohol. I do. I take all the pain away Sometimes it works out And sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some And sometimes you won't But we could be everything Everything Oh shit That was a spider and That we see it we could be We could be everything That we want We could be
So I think that you need it Others' opinions To know how you're feeling To know if you're losing or winning Left behind or within it If you're sinking or swimming Existing or living Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain think this is the permanent solution I was looking for but let's just try to trust trust the process here because I don't feel like I don't feel like this is it sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't but we could be everything everything anything that we see we could be we could be everything that we want we could be still see a little sunlight under the door I think that may be normal am I being overly critical I don't know possibly but does it look better than the towel in front of the door absolutely absolutely it 100% looks better you know um so we're gonna see how it goes I mean the towel was not 100% effective kept forgetting to put it back under the door Jax, it's actually actually Jax's bath towels, so he would just go and like take them, like these are mine. So um, they were clean bath towels, but he knows that they're his towels. I don't know how he knows, but they're his towels. So you know, Jax would take them and then just drag them and lay on them. So is it a better option? I think it's a better option for now. I also have to do one on the side door by the kitchen. Um, and so yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just roll with it. We're gonna call this mission accomplished for the day. And the next thing I need to do is put my um, sticker outside so they can pick up my trash. Okay, so I did something different this time with the um, weather stripping. So on this side, you'll notice that it's not as prominent as on the other side it's not because it's less light it's actually more light at this time of the day yeah it's more light at this time of the day however I, I move 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 I don't need your help excuse me excuse me excuse me gracias um however what I did do was I um put the weather stripping on the outside I think that the weather stripping on the outside is going to help me get a better seal than I did on the front door. But I don't know. The side is not covered. So I don't know. Let's we'll see how strong the adhesive is. I mean, it's trial and error. Trial and error. Error. It's trial and error at this point. <laughs> Yummy, sit down, take the girl, my life be like, yo. 
Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunnat ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side och why Så att du rör på det får mig och dör för dig baby För de här jadis jadis, de vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig på det jag lägger av min tid och Jag vill ha det, ha det Du får mig känna safety Ni kan nog le det baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig Kommer aldrig känna så här för någon annan än dig Aldrig, aldrig So, doing this the third time It's a lot easier than it was <laughs> it was a lot easier than it was the first time the first time i think i put too much tension on it instead of allowing it to like loosely lay and then pressing it into place so you know lesson learned i probably should start on the side door instead of on the front door but whatever you know you live and you learn the crazy thing is these doors will have to be replaced these are interior doors on the ex well on the side of the house not the front of the house this is an interior door that's on the exterior of the house so, you know, another one of those new build architect issue type of things. And, you know, they're gonna come replace it at some point. So thankfully, the roll is a nice size roll. So I will be able to do, when they replace this door, I'll be able to weather strip it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably weather strip the side storage room as well. Um, I'll do that when I clean it out. You know, that's another that's another project for another day. Look at Jax. That's what I'm talking about with him and his towels. Anyway, now I gotta go do the uh, now I have to do the trash sticker. So yesterday I got my trash service set up. Finally. I know it, it, it has taken me a bit of a minute, but I have to put this sticker out. I think, right? I'm gonna pick the trash up. So I have this this thing right here, and it seems to make sense. But I don't see anybody else with the sticker up. I don't know y'all. I just be out here doing stuff. But anyway, let's put this stick, let's put this sticker up because I got trash to put out. Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. Uh, okay, so let me tell y'all about trash service setup. Okay. Most places your trash will be set up for you already. All right, it's not even gonna be something you gonna have to think about. Inside the city, if you need trash set up, you just go to one of the, the, the stand-up points, right? They got one at, at um, City Center, Walmart City Center, just outside in that little plaza. There's a, a thing that says S-A-N-A, -A, Santa. You can go there and you can just take your lease and show me your address and then pay for your trash to be picked up, right? There's also like a lady or man, whoever, a person that walks around and does uh, and actually it has you to pay for your trash service and you can pay for it monthly, whatever, however you wanna pay for it, right? And they, they only take, the people that's walking around only take Effectivo, they don't take cards, right? So here in Kankau, right, you have to pay for your trash service at the Ayuntamiento, which is like City Hall, right? So you type that in, let's see if I have my address on here. You don't have my address on here. Um, so you go down to the location. Actually, it says domicilio. That is my address. Just playing. So you go down there to um, the Ayuntamiento de Cancao, 
right? And you type that in Uber or GPS, and it'll pop right on up, right? And that's where you go to pay for your trash. And when you go in there, you have to have the um, Sedulu Catastral, Catastral, child. I, this is what this is what was holding me up. I didn't have this, right? And because my landlord lives in Puerto Morelos, I wasn't able to get it, right? But the lady just told me, hey, take your lease and go over to this office across the street. The DC Most Sistemos office and go over there, show them your lease and they'll print out a copy for you. So that's how I ended up getting this um, basic like D paperwork, right? It's a provisional so you can pay for your municipal services is actually what it says in Spanish on here. And when I went there, then I paid for my trash. So for three months, it was 256 pesos, which is like 85 pesos a month, like $5. Like for five, trash is like five dollars a month. I think trash is higher out here, and I don't know if it's because I'm further out or if it's because I don't know. But trash is higher here. I believe my trash is like forty something pesos with Santa in the city, and it's eighty five pesos out here. Anyway, I need them because I got stuff to get rid of. And so yeah, that's what happened. So I didn't have trash the first two months I was I've been here because I didn't know how to set it up. And I had to go over there and figure it out. That's why learning Spanish is so important. Do I think you could do it with Google Translate? You could. But I refuse to use the translator. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to force myself to learn Spanish. And um, you can set it up. So, hopefully, one thing you can say if you're new, make sure your landlord has it set up for you already. Or you go with them to pay or whatever it is. Make sure you set it up so that you don't end up in a situation where you don't have trash service. Also, um, the security guards were picking up, I was paying one of the security guards to pick up my trash for me. So I felt kind of bad, like I didn't want to give him a whole, like a whole bunch of trash. So I was like being really cautious, like, okay, I'm not trying to get rid of extra stuff because some stuff ended up getting moved from the storage here and it's in my side storage room, but I want that side storage room to put a shelf in it so I can put the pool stuff, the extra dog stuff, and extra cleaning supplies in there. But like the stuff that I need to get rid of is in there, so I, I can't do that. So I finally was like, all right, we're gonna do this. We're we gonna commit to getting the trash thing set up. And so I did that, and now I put my sticker out. And so they will come get my trash. And I'm so excited about this because I don't I think we take little things like trash service for granted because it's not something that's, you know, it's not something that you think about. But anyway, I got that taken care of. You know, I appreciate everybody watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, or share. Until next time, bye.